Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to add drives to an OWC Thunder Bay 4 enclosure. We've already gathered our materials and are working on a soft, static-free work surface. We are now ready to begin. The first thing we'll need to do is remove the front panel from the Thunder Bay. Simply insert the key that came with your Thunder Bay into the lock and turn it clockwise. You should then be able to pull the top part of the cover toward you, then lift it out of the bottom channel. You can then remove each of the four drive trays by loosening the thumb screw all the way, and then using it to pull the tray all the way out. On each of the empty trays, there's a small plastic bar that's held in place by a Phillips screw on each end. Remove these screws and set the plastic bar aside. Next, make sure that the tray is sitting so that its letter is rotated 90 degrees clockwise. At this point, you can install either a 3.5 inch drive or a 2.5 inch drive with a 2.5 to 3.5 inch drive adapter such as the newer Tech Adapter Drive in each bay. Keep in mind that you don't have to match the drive types as each drive is recognized independently by your computer. Simply line up the drive in the tray and secure the three holes on each side using the screws you removed earlier and those in the small bag that came with your Thunder Bay. Repeat the process for the remaining bays. To replace a tray in the Thunder Bay, simply line up the plastic rail on the bottom of the tray between the two rails of its slot in the Thunder Bay and slide it into place. Then tighten the thumb screw to secure the tray. Repeat the process with the remaining trays. Finally, latch the lower pins on the front cover into their slots on the Thunder Bay, then close the cover all the way and secure it with the lock. Your Thunder Bay 4 is now ready to use.